What do you want? I smelled something stirring on the wind. I found it hard to resist. <laughs> You've always had a way with words. It's the smell of battle. Yes. And who here hasn't fought his share of hopeless battles? Not very sporting of you to leave us out of this one. Now is it, Rowan? You are our general. We wouldn't abandon you in your hour of need. Of course not. You weren't the only one who took a vow before the prelate, you know. Should anything befall her, we swore to stand at your side. And so we shall. Our troops spread before us like the sea. We need only await the coming of the storm. Forgive me. This was not your fight. Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back to Let's Play Residence of Fate on Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we finished up all the chapters available for Chapter 16, or all the side quests available for Chapter 16, uh, and failed at the arena, and then we decided to go just be at the game. So, let's do it. Basilica. I didn't realize that I entered, that's why we started like that, but okay. And lots of enemies, fencers, guards, snipers, aka my favorite. Uh, let's go ahead with the hollow point round plus pluses. I'm assuming there's going to be a couple of human bosses in here, you know, because we got the cardinals and whatnot. So I'm just going to go ahead and save the uh, EX rounds for them. Let's just go ahead and try to get these other guys out of the way as quickly as possible and that's not what I was trying to go for with the uh, statue being in the way there at all yeah that's gonna hurt uh, Vasher on there if they actually get it turned uh, yeah that statue is highly inconvenient you wanna die there dude thanks you have like no HP left so let's kill you and kill you. Or at least get your, uh, not, not kill, but, you know, at very least get your armor ready to go. Uh, you know, we're right next to that damn door. I don't see any treasures here. So I'm just going to go ahead and dash through the door. And if I can get through the doors without uh, getting through the fight, that's great. That makes my life reasonably easy. Because I don't know how long this place is going to be. And you with your weird venomous fog kind of odd, but okay. He sounds like he's going to try to poison my ass, which I'd rather not deal with, but, you know. Goodbye. Okay, your HP... No, it's just your shield's broken. I thought we broke his HP and we would have been able to get some bezels there, but no such luck. Are you guys the only two in here? Kind of surprised there's not more enemies in this room. Like, that first room has a nice fat chunk of, what, five or six enemies? And this is just, uh... Apparently nobody. Okay, cool. And, like I said, I do know for a fact that there are three bosses in here. Um, I don't... I'm gonna assume that the first one is here in this uh, little circular room that's coming up. But I don't know that for certain. But I... I could be right here. Such a vulgar weapon for the angel of love. It does not suit one so divine. I'm Leanne. That's all. And I am Cardinal Gorigliano. Oh, I 
is he gonna attack me with a picture frame? Because that's kind of not a whole lot there. Uh, I see venomous fog in the background. I think our main goal is to get rid of that guy before he poisons us. Sorry, I didn't realize that he had a dialogue there. So, the angel of love brings the angel of death. So pray. Maybe that'll give you the strength to finish me. I do not doubt it for a moment. Okay, the whole shooting through the portrait thing is kind of odd, but okay. Okay, your little side dudes don't seem to be that terribly damaging, which is great. And apparently talking to her in this isn't going to work because he's not going to shut up. Alright, let's try a nice full scratch here if we can. I doubt we can full scratch the boss, but it never hurts to try, I don't think. And let's go ahead and have uh, Zephyr take off the HP that he can. That way he doesn't like uh, regenerate, the regenerate it. And also we can get rid of at least a little bit of his shield, it seems like. Hey, you guys got directly in my fucking way, because apparently your top hats are too fucking tall. Or something, I'm not sure. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, your entire shield is ready to die. The rest of you, not so much. I might need to heal Leanne here at some point. Okay, fuck off, uh, fencers. Oh, these little... Top hat dudes are stunning my ass. Or not not stunning. Paralyzing. Which I'd really rather not have to worry about, but I guess I do. Okay, you're losing health reasonably fast, which I am more than happy to deal with. Uh Leanne, you are losing all my bezels as usual. I don't know why you seem to be the one that loses them all, but I'm getting kinda tired of that. Let's go this way. I guess we could try to take out the little side dudes first. But I don't think it's that big of a deal since this guy seems to be dying really fast. And I'm going to go in condition critical. Leanne, you fucking... God damn it. The fencers are going to kill him before I get a chance to do anything. Try it, but you're gonna need more than a paintbrush. 
Shut up and fight! And underneath it... about my angel of love. It's the time stop off the beaten path that makes life worth it. Time to die. This will teach you. So the rose has thorns. I'm no flower. Flesh and flower both are all too fleeting in this world. Did he finally shut up? Jesus, this guy talks for fucking forever. Uh, Leanne, you're about to die, as usual. Uh, so, let's get... Fuck off. Hang on. I'm trying to get away from you just for long enough to actually heal. So let's do this. I'm not trying... Okay, I'm not trying to lose all my fucking shards again. Or bezels, or whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Well, we lost some of them, so that's that. But I think we should be fine as long as Carligliano or Mustachio Menace here doesn't get him. I just realized we haven't actually seen this guy throughout the story too much. Like, we might have seen him like once or twice, but. And we've seen his manner more than once, but we haven't actually seen him that much. Either way, I think his uh, little minions are the tougher part of the fight here. And we should be able to finish him off here. Yes, indeed. Feed the needy. Uh, Zephyr is fucking... Stunned. And you're going to make me take another fucking turn to kill you because you're fucking paralyzed. You bastardizing little whorebag. Okay, I don't care that Vacheron and Leanne are poisoned or whatever. I really don't. But I'm not going to deal with this last little sliver of HP here. Again. And again. And again. Because that just gets really fucking irritating when he should be dead but they recover... Uh, 99th of their HP, and you can't finish them off because of that. That should kill you. There you go. Oh, and that actually did give us a uh, Bizzle Shard. Perfect. Well, that guy's certainly talkative, but oh well. Um, let's go ahead and just leave your corpse there. Uh, I'll let you keep the the painting, but I'll take the uh, gun there. And I think we got that uh, black uh, hex out of that too, so there's that. And three, four, five of you guys. Judges Aegis, Northern Wind, 
Judge's Assault. Okay, uh, let's get back to the plus pluses and give it a shot here. I'm kind of curious what this uh, Northern Wind guy does, but he just has a whole bunch of defense. He must do like uh, some form of elemental damage. I'm thinking wind, or not wind, uh, ice, because I don't think there is wind now that I think about it. Okay, good. Uh, as long as we can go ahead and get Zephyr to kill you before you do a whole lot to me, that's great. Oh, come on. Bad enough I had to deal with that with the boss. I'm not trying to deal with that with a random enemy here as well. Uh, okay, you guys shouldn't actually be that tough then. Yeah, you guys are dying reasonably fast. You're way up on the high ground there for whatever reason. And that means I have to get past your damn shields. Okay, they're dropping the same energy X's as this damn pillar in the way. But not really anything different. Okay, fair enough. I see that red switch on the ground, and I'm just going to assume that that also raises some form of barrier that I'd rather not have raised. Uh, okay, whatever. Alright, there we go. One of you pie ground motherfuckers is gone. Uh, as for you... Okay, looks like the uh, judge guys, on, or the Aegis guys on the top, or Aegis, or however you want to pronounce it, they are going to be the biggest problem, just for the fact that, well, their shields are properly positioned to irritate. And yeah, these guys are going to recover that just enough little bit of HP that it might be a pain in the ass to actually finish them off here. Come on, Zephyr. You can do it. I'm counting on you, buddy. There you go. Alright. Easy enough. And... Okay, we got... Dark blue is the way forward. And then... The side paths. Let's see what's on the... Uh, let's see what's on the side paths first. Just to see if there's any, like, uh, gold boxes or anything. They might have, like, a perfect aid or something in here. And... I see one, two, three, four enemies. Is there anything else going on in here? Well, we'll see, I guess. And that did not fully kill you. I should have let that uh, first one charge all the way up, but it was getting pretty high, and I thought I had enough attack power there, but apparently I did not. There you go. You're dead now, finally. You are not even close, are you? Yeah, not even close. Zephyr, let's go ahead with... Perfect. And apparently I can't jump over whatever the heck that is in the middle right there. That kind of sucks, but okay. Even with the ridiculously fast charging of our gun here, we still don't have uh, enough speed to actually charge it up all the way if they have a shield on the side and we're trying to get through it. Very close though, just not all the way. Okay good, we got you fully scratched. What about you? Not even close, I don't think. Yeah, we tried. Oh well. Now, you guys have just enough HP to hopefully die here. That'd be great. Perfect. You look like you're going to be a problem. Yeah, I figured as much. You're going to survive with your 1 HP left, which sucks. By the way, if you have him, like, poisoned or whatever, 
it doesn't actually seem to take off that last little chunk of HP that I've noticed. Like, it'll get very close, and then they'll conveniently cure the poison status at the last second, it seems like. I mean, I could just be miss... Well, like... I could just make it be seeming like it's not doing that, but it just seems like how it seems to work whenever I've had a poison enemy to deal with. There you go. Easy enough. Now, what is the purpose of this room besides you guys? Uh, what is this? A clock, it looks like. Anything else in here? What are you? Oh, uh, I'm not sure what this is doing, but it appears like it might be important. You know, there might be one on the other side of this little area, too. So we'll go check that out real fast. And you guys came back. I am going to try my best to ignore you guys. By the way, this really sucks that you guys decided to come back. And Vacheron got fucking frozen. Seriously, you bastardizing little shits. Okay, you know what? I'm just trying to get past here so I don't have to deal with you fuckers again for like the third time, or second time, but still. You! Fuck off. Like, I get that they're trying to protect their, their cardinal or whatever, but come on, just go away for ten seconds here. Uh, Zephyr, you go with killing this guy before she freezes somebody again. I think it's a female. It seems like it. I, I can't tell, though. Uh, Leanne, you... I want to get these real fast, even though they're probably just hexes, so I don't really care too much. Yeah, they're just hexes, so I don't care that much. But, let's go ahead and get Vacheron off to... The red side here. And I'm gonna guess that this has the same amount of enemies as the previous room. Or you could have this big ass uh, Goliath 4 launch. Or Lancer, I'm sorry. Uh, let's try the Medical Around Plus Pluses. I'm assuming all the bosses in here are of the humanoid variety. So we're not gonna need to worry about having metal rounds for them. Oh, that worked out pretty good. Fucking A, guy! You just fucking nuked my fucking HP. That was ridiculous. And you fucking recovering all your. You're recovering your HP with my bezels, you fucking little bastard. Ah, goddammit. Like, we can full scratch him, but then he decides, hey, I'm just gonna go ahead with. completely destroying your you know I'm gonna retry until I full scratch him again because otherwise he's gonna cause a problem here no he's gonna he's gonna do the same exact thing isn't he and you with your fucking paralysis crap that is fucking ridiculous right there. Guy. No, you know what? Fuck it. I have some of these. We're going to use them. Actually, you know what? Uh, metal coated electrified round pluses. I want to see how well those do on you. Screw the armor piercing rounds. We'll do these for the moment. That didn't actually do a whole lot, did it? No, it did not. And... Just like in the arena, we got lucky with that first scratch there, and not so much with the rest of it here. Fuck off with killing, killing all my goddamn HP off the bat, you fucking bastard. Fuck off with that crap, that is ridiculous. And no, you're not getting my fucking... ...cores to recover your HP. Go away.
Okay, let's see if we can't get your armor. Actually, hang on, I need these, don't I? Yeah, let's see if we can't get your armor. Uh, fuck off with that bullshit attack there, guy. Get your armor out of the way, that way we can actually damage you. And hopefully, get some more bezels back here, that'd be great. He's gonna fuck me over with something here. Uh, I think the uh, medical around EX has actually worked out pretty good. Assuming we actually get the full scratch, we should be okay. And feel free to stun him as well, that'd be fantastic. Or nothing at all, you bastard. Now, uh, we're... Okay, we actually got the bezels back, so we're not completely posed over here. So that's great, but he's going to... <sighs> the problem is, I think he always starts off the battle with that bullshit attack right there, and there's not a whole lot we can do about that, as far as I can tell. Uh, can I run past you? Stop targeting the fucking human at the start of the battle, you little fuck. See the giant motherfucker that's actually a problem? Target him, you little bastard. Fuck, guy. You guys have no fucking concept of what the fuck is dangerous and what isn't, so... We're just gonna have to keep on trying until we manage to full scratch this guy, and he doesn't get lucky with, uh, this... This crap. The problem is, he does our entire fucking bar of health in one fucking turn, and that's fucking ridiculous. And then, he uses that to recover his fucking... health. And then, for some reason, our attacks do jack shit to him. Do not fucking... Kill Zephyr here. Here, break his HP a whole bunch. That way we can actually, you know, get our bezels back since he takes them all away at the start of the fucking fight. That's just fucking cheap. You have one attack, or one turn pretty much, to hopefully get rid of all his uh, health and a full scratch attack, and hopefully stun him, which, by the way, you're probably not going to do. And then, he takes away all your fucking health in one attack. That's kind of bullshit right there. And by kinda, I mean entirely. Okay, we did a whole bunch of your HP here. Now we just got to... Actually... Why are you stunned? Why are you paralyzed? Stop being paralyzed. And if he gets off his fucking rocket attack again, we're gonna be hosed because we can't we can't take another what ten bezel loss that shit was. Whatever that fucking crap was that he did the start of the round that was way too many bezel damages there. Yeah, whatever this is, it's gonna not entirely screw me over here. Leanne, do not lose any more of my fucking bezels. I don't know why you are the one that always loses them. I don't know how. You have the same armor as everyone else, or close to it. Okay, good. You're dead, and you are a royal pile of shit, so fuck off. Leanne, stop trying to kill yourself. Okay, if Leanne can go ahead and get uh, a heal off here. Okay, she's fine with the par paralysis. I can deal with that. Uh, Vacheron, you're going to survive. Okay, good. You're dead. Now, if I can go ahead and... Break your HP. 
Yeah, we didn't break it that much. Okay. Hey, we get it. We're actually getting brown energy axes here, which is great. Except for the part that I think this is the only area that we actually need brown energy axes for is just trying to get uh, into this area. Uh, let's go ahead and fuck. We're gonna be we're gonna be condition critical here. Ah, damn it. Zephyr, feel free to not fuck up here. Thank you. And that did not give us our... Okay, I was about to say. That better have given us our bezels back there. Okay. Uh, now, what exactly are these things doing anyways? I mean, I see them rising up or whatever, but what the heck is the point? I don't know, but we're going to find out next episode. And I'll just go past that room and get to the other side and then we'll start there so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time have a good night